So quick show of hands today. How many of you have ever done it like a March Madness bracket that you filled out with your family or at work? Yeah, I'm guessing a lot of you. Okay, now, honest question. This is church, so you can't lie to me. Uh, how many of you ever put money on a bracket before? You guys did way better than the first service. They totally lied to me about that question. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever noticed what happens when you put money on something? You care about it. Right? It's like, <laughs> if you fill out the bracket and you put 20, 50 bucks into the office pool and you pick teams, I mean, you've never seen the teams, you've never heard of them before, you couldn't name a single one of their players, like Appalachian State is playing North Carolina and you pick the upset, like, Appalachian isn't even a state, but suddenly, like, you're passionate and you're yelling at the television set and you're checking the brackets and you're looking on your phone, it's like your heart is in it. And why is your heart in it? Because where your treasure is, there, there your heart shall be. Or think about stocks. Uh, when you were 12 years old, did you care about the stock market? No, I didn't either. Well, why not? No treasure, no, no heart. If, if you're 62 and you're kind of landing the plane close to retirement, do you care about the stock market? Oh, yes, you do. You get excited or scared. You get nervous or, or worried or anticipatory. You are very emotional. You will make a lot of decisions and have a lot of desires and passions because you have so much treasure there. And that's what Jesus is saying. Wherever you first put your money, there your heart will follow. And so God, you know, he doesn't care a ton about the bottom line dollars and cents, but he does care intensely about your heart. And he knows the power of money to draw it and attract it. Uh, Pastor Michael from our church uh, preached a powerful sermon a few months ago on this very passage. And I love the way he put it. He said, money is a magnet for your heart. Like, if you care about your relationship with God, if you care what kind of heart you have beating inside of your chest, you should care very, very much about how you spend your money. Because as Jesus put it, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.